Pachari Yoga International Trust that is part. This is to certify that Bhagavad Gita redefines yoga as the matchless marvel in mind, intelligence and false ego. This is also to certify that yoga and meditation adds knowledge and immense value to the human race irrespective of region, religion, reason and reality. Om. Sir, you please see, sir. See this. This is my cycle, sir. Okay. This is my cycle. I've been doing this cycling with a hard pedal. See, it is so hard. And I'm sweating so much that the entire area is filled with sweat because I'm not cleaning the house. <laughs> Please see, sir. How much sweat has come and fallen down on the ground? Hmm? But don't do this cycling because you cannot do this cycling because your heart will fail and you will die. Uh, this I am showing it to that uh, uh, Nirmala Sitaraman and uh, that another woman who is that Tamilisai <laughs> governor. That Tamilisai governor is eating, I mean, that uh, what is that? Uh, pickles, gongkura, gongkura pickles and other things, eh? and she is not going to live for long. BJP is short-lived because of the laziness and uh, gaddi khojna. <laughs> thank you, my dear. Thank you. Start. Start. <coughs> Start. Hello, my dear citizen. <laughs> I'm not uh, unhappy. I'm not unhappy. And uh, I'm very happy in the constitutional uh, method of selecting leaders, ministers. <laughs> now, Some leaders are selected, some, I say. They are not screened for anything and everything. Uh, Mr. Modi ji and his team of 55 ministers and his team of about 500 senior IAS officers and governors rule the country. <laughs> Even though the senior IAS and IPS officers are trained in their way to deliver goods and services in the constitutional platform. The 50 ministers and uh, the governors of the state are mostly sleeping like muffs in the constitution. They don't exercise any powers because they don't know what is the 
value of a governor in a state. And we have the problem of good governance everywhere, in the railways, in the health services, in the transport, in the home ministry and military services. <laughs> now today the ministry functions only through Twitter page. As many as 500 Twitter posters are provided to help the ministry and the cabinet team to render circulars and to boost the image of the government. <laughs> to what extent this uh, system of paging Twitter will help the constitutional procedure and no one knows no one knows <laughs> thank you and goodbye thank you and goodbye but I remind you one thing that the present problem of Modi ji is Gaddi Kojana in Hindi and obesity. And they should, the ministry, cabinet minister should know more about avoiding Gaddi Kojana and they should learn about the procedures of inspection observation and recording the faults in the system. <laughs> Thank you and goodbye. This is all possible only when every minister is fit to serve the country. <laughs> <laughs> this is Pachari Yoga International Trust. That is fine. <laughs> this is to certify that this trust is registered under Society's Registration Act in India. This trust is a non profit and goes online with yoga as a mandate for duty, diligence and dedication in public life. <laughs> the sole mandate holder of this trust is the approved senior fellow valuer in the institution of valuers at New Delhi. <laughs> <laughs> Pachari is a senior consulting engineer in the Institution of Engineers at Kolkata. Pachari is a qualified senior technologist from PC institutions at Coimbatore. Pachari is also the senior cost analyst from the University of Bombay. This senior citizen, Pachari, is also the retired central pensioner in India who can take challenges as an expert in yoga and as an exponent in Bhagavad Gita. Clip. 
Trusty endorses that yoga alone can redefine service, health, hospitalization, trade production, employment, war and peace. <laughs> signed by the soul magnet holder for Pachari Yoga International Trust. <laughs> Thus dated 28th day of January 2020. <laughs> Please visit further. Chari Yoga International Trust that is part. This is to certify that Bhagavad Gita and Yoga will neutralize evil forces threatening good governance in this 21st century. This is also to certify that Bhagavad Gita offers yoga, meditation and recitation as a powerful tool to boost value in Modi's Swachh Bharat towards performance of one's duty irrespective of gain or loss. Oh. Mm-hmm.